we need to make this uh, QR code using an AutoCAD file and then we make it compatible with the Optimic Aerosol Jet. That's our printing machine up at School of Mines. We start printing using our rink. Uh, this is the ultrasonic atomizer we have and uh, we usually use one ml of ink in the vial. Once we give the atomizer value, it starts atomizing the ink and once we give the atomizer flow value, it takes the ink from the vial to the head through the pipe and then once we give the sheath, it prints the ink onto the substrate through the sheath. And uh, so far we have successfully printed uh, lines of about 50 microns with the controlled parameters. We see these uh, paper samples that we printed on, uh, you don't see anything. So it's totally covert. We don't see anything and the designs are robust. This is the laser, 980 nanometer laser we got and uh, it's got 8 watts power in it. So once we excite these QR codes using this 980 nanometer laser, they show up in green color because of the up conversion. So this IR will be up converted into a visible light at 530 nanometer laser, 530 nanometers wavelength by these uh, QR, uh, up, up converting nanoparticles. Using a camera with the IR lens fixed it because the cameras usually pick up the IR, not the up conversion. So we have that IR cutoff lens attached to our camera so that it just sees the QR code. Once we got the QR code, we scan it using a smartphone as QR code application and it readily scans into whatever we put into the QR code. In this case, we used our school's name, which is SDSMNT, South Dakota School, for School of Mines and Technology. So we have different sets of upconverting nanoparticles. One upconverts into green, one upconverts into blue. So we use both of them to create these upconverting QR codes as I've showed you in the, uh, in the video. So uh, by using this, the, we can uh, increase the potentiality of the security printing because we can vary the sizes of the alphabets or characters or symbols, whatever we put into the QR code uh, from microscopic to microscopic level. So once we print something microscopic embedded in the QR code, so we are making it into forensic level.